Hi everybody, I'm Rob Schmidt and I want to make one final attempt, hopefully it's a final attempt as of April the 21st, 2012, to explain why I'm still convinced that George Zimmerman executed Trayvon Martin. It begins with the fact that that stand your ground legislation does not apply in this case because the guy that wrote it, the elected official, Representative Dennis Baxley made it very clear in a very eloquent interview that Shepard Smith conducted that it was not intended to cover him. So it's when does right-wing radio get to decide what legislation applies and when it applies? Haven't, you know, the likes of, you know, Mark Levin always told us that the legislators are the ones who write the laws? Well, the legislator who write the laws said it doesn't cover George Zimmerman. Probably cover Trayvon Martin, but he's kind of dead. Also, George Zimmerman was not part of the Neighborhood Watch, and they, and they keep referring to him as a volunteer leader. No. The Neighborhood Watch made it very clear he was not a member. George Zimmerman was carrying a gun. You're not allowed to do that if you're part of the Neighborhood Watch. And I've heard many police officers call into the fair-minded Leo Terrell, and he is fair-minded, and I've met him. He's a good man. And they said, they, you know, they tell, you know, they work with the Neighborhood Watch, and they tell him, they instruct them to report don't follow. How many mistakes does George Zimmerman have to make before people will realize that he did it? Also, I saw the pictures that the paramedics released, the para, you know, with the blood in the back of George Zimmerman's head, and frankly, it's nowhere near enough to account for that fraudulently doctored picture. They call it the enhanced picture, where you see the big gash in the back of George Zimmerman's head and the uh, arrow pointing to it. Somebody took some type of software like Photoshop and they doctored that. And I hope you will look at the videos that I've done in which I use, in which I make an honest effort with professional equipment to blow that up the way a professional would blow it up so you can see what really happened. And you'll find out that the results I got were nowhere near that doctored photo. And again, George Zimmerman is guilty on all accounts. Please listen to what I'm saying. Trayvon Martin, what did Trayvon Martin do to tick off the far right? What did he do to incur the wrath of right-wing radio? I'd love to hear your thoughts on this one, so please share them with me in the YouTube Message Center. And may God be with you in 2012.